when pride comes then comes disgrace proverb 11 verse 2 this is the strong warning of solomon the wise man about pride and being boastful how can we overcome boastfulness Esther 5, the chapter of the day, tells us about the actions and mindset of a boastful man, Haman, the advisor of King Xerxes. Verse 11 reports these words, Haman boasted to them about his vast wealth, his many sons, and all the ways the king has had honored him, and how he had elevated him above the other nobles and officials. He bragged about what he had and that he had received more than others. He did that in front of his friends and Zeresh, his wife. Boastful people always need an audience to clap for them or bow to them. Affirmation is not bad, but here the absence of constant supporters makes the boastful to feel that something is missing even when they already have much without the regular ovation of others it is hard for the boastful to feel happy and they end up making silly moves like haman this was the problem of haman one day he saw mordecai at the king's gate and observed that he neither rose nor showed fear in his presence. The situation disturbed his good mood, put him in a rage, and would later lead him to plan the murder of Mordecai. How do we address the issue of being boastful? Some people are good at hiding to others that they are boastful or full of pride they know very well how to look humble and this can help however it does not remove the inner discomfort that the boastful usually feel for not receiving the recognition that they crave for think think of a better strategy pride and boastfulness are nurtured by the thoughts that we possess something or own more than others. Therefore, when we cultivate through the returning of tithe and offerings, the convictions that we are not the owners, but God is the owner, pride and boastfulness will start shrinking. Dear friends, to overcome a spirit of pride, read the Bible daily and grow in acknowledging God as owner of everything.